you are curious the differences between North Raleigh and South Raleigh, that is what we're gonna be talking about today, so stick around. So for the context of the video today um, with North and South, we're just yep. going to be talking about places north of downtown and south of downtown. Correct. So if you talk to locals, they'll tell you that North Raleigh is just this tiny little portion that kind of hugs Wake Forest. That's not what we're talking about. That's included in what we're talking yep. about, but we're also going to be talking about what a lot of people will call Midtown. Midtown. Yeah. Um, so we're including Midtown and North Raleigh from, a, we're just talking about directionally, not like, you know, the local little pockets like yeah. you know you got all these tiny little pockets we're just talking about what is north of downtown what is south yep. of downtown um and in general i think you'll find just about everything north kind of has a somewhat yep. similar vibe and everything south has a somewhat similar vibe so yep. that's what we're gonna be talking about today um so we'll start with south raleigh yeah which is where we are right now so we are at uh yates mill historic park did yeah. i get the name completely <laughs> yeah. right just call it yates mill yeah. but um but yeah so south raleigh is gonna have a little bit more of a rural feel than north raleigh it's a little less developed but I kind of like that, honestly. So it depends on part what part of South Raleigh you're in. We're kind of di just directly south right now. We're near like where NC State has a lot of their agricultural campus. So it feels very agricultural in right. this area. Um, but I think this area over time is going to change significantly, largely because 540, the southern portion is going to be complete, which is going to bring about changes. And then there's a new development coming into South Raleigh at some point over the next several years called Downtown Raleigh South, which is the same developer that did North Hills, and it's gonna have a very similar vibe to North Hills in South Raleigh. So those kind of developments are gonna bring a lot of change to this area over time. Yeah, for sure. And like Zach mentioned, you know, it does kind of have a more rural feel. I don't think that the, all of that's gonna change because I think NC State is going to hold on to their yeah, I mean, land, the, yeah, you know, that this they use. The um, area we're in right now probably right. won't change. I mean, this but, is a county park, NC State's over there, yeah. but. But maybe more like yeah. privately owned lots and stuff might get sold off to bigger yeah. developers and you get more of like, the smaller lot subdivisions, yeah. just the nature of new, new construction these days. Yeah. Um, but you know, I think that does change. We're also gonna be closer as far as like, what are you closer to when you're in South Raleigh? You're gonna be closer to like Garner, uh, Clayton, get a little bit of a shorter drive if you're going to the beach. Yeah, closer <laughs> to Fuquay, closer to Holly Springs. So, I mean, any of those Southern towns, right. South Raleigh puts you puts you closer to. And there's, there's a zip code of South Raleigh that drops down really low i can't remember it off the top of my head but it, it cuts down pretty far deep yeah. into like splitting garner and the holly springs fuqua area yeah yeah and that feels pretty rural down there too but in general south raleigh one of the really appealing things about it is it's about 40 percent cheaper to live south of downtown than it yeah. is to live north of downtown um you know i think there's a lot of and things are changing you know you have a lot more maybe luxury new build that is coming to south raleigh but yeah. there is a large luxury presence in the north side exactly. of Raleigh that doesn't have quite as much of a stronghold in, this, in the south side. Yeah. Um, so average prices down here actually for detached homes are 425,000, which is yeah. really good, it's less really good. than the average for Raleigh as a whole. So yeah. definitely a lot more affordability on the south side. Absolutely. All right, before we move on to North Raleigh, if you're ever in South Raleigh, the Howling Cow is a great place to go for ice cream. Yes. It's owned by, it's owned by NC State, right? Yeah, right. So, it's yeah. like part of like, I guess the students that, it's like a little dairy yeah, farm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's so the ice cream ice shop. Cream. Yeah, it's really cool. It's really, it's really good. Cool, you but, can like um, sit on a rocking chair and look out at the cows. It's really nice, yeah. obviously, on a day not like today where it's cold and rainy, but I'm yeah. still trying to convince Zach to head there after this. No, nope, so we'll we're not. But <laughs> anyway, so that finishes up South Raleigh. Yeah. So moving on <laughs> to North Raleigh. So kind of the opposite of what we mentioned with South Raleigh as far as just a lot more development, higher price points, so. Yeah, for sure. There's gonna be a lot more access to the commercial side of things that people are yep. always looking for. Um, when they come to Raleigh, you know, people wanna be close to Crabtree, which is a mall in the area, close to North Hills, which is a big outdoor, yep. mixed use space, like shopping and things like that. Um, yep. Those are two really big pools for people being in North Raleigh, mm -hmm. a lot of green space and parks and playgrounds. Yep. There are good, there are also parks and playgrounds in South Raleigh, so it's not necessarily, yep. there's necessarily more, but you do also have like the Umstead on the more north side of Raleigh, which, which is, is massive, massive yeah. for like um, being outdoors. So, you know, there's things there that do have a stronghold on people um, that, you know, you don't really yep. see on the south side of town. Yeah, the major difference is gonna be price points. Price points in North Raleigh, mid sevens. Yeah. So. 
it's like really yeah. staggering how much different it, is it can be. Significant. Um, you know, it's not double, but it's getting pretty close to being yeah. twice as expensive to live on the north side of town. Yeah. Being north, you also have a little easier access to get into other parts of the triangle, like Durham, Chapel Hill, RTP. You're going to be a closer drive when you're on um, a, a big portion of the north side of Raleigh. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right, so now we're going to talk about which one do we think is better. I am going to be team North Raleigh. Yeah. I'm team North Raleigh. I'm team North Raleigh, too. I yeah. just feel like, you know, I do love parts of South Raleigh, but the convenience factor I love in this North part. Raleigh. Yeah. yeah, like I like the, this park here and other things, but in general, I feel like life feels a little more convenient in North Raleigh yeah. and the places that you know, we want to eat and stuff like that are going to usually yeah. be on the north side of town. So it does have a pretty big convenience factor. There's just a feel that um, in North Raleigh of like established subdivisions um, that it's just uh, quaint, not really the right word, but I just yeah, like driving through it and having <laughs> trees, having those houses from like the 80s and the 90s. Um, probably just from growing up around it. I don't know, yeah. but there's something about that that I like. Whereas in South Raleigh, I feel like, you know, you have a lot of rural feel to it, which is gorgeous. And I love that element. But, you know, for me personally, yeah. I would much rather live in an 80s, 90s house than a new construction subdivision where I don't have a yard at all and there's yeah. no trees. So that's my opinion. Everybody's different about, you know, what their preferences are. Obviously that new construction house is gonna probably be a lot more pretty inside yeah. and not need any upkeep and everything. But I like the idea of looking out and having trees. Yeah, but own. there's, but to be fair, there's a lot of also older developments on the For south sure. side of yeah. Raleigh yeah. with a lot of trees that have a like a nice established feel to them as well. Yeah. So yeah. Raleigh, South Raleigh is not like exclusively new construction no. or anything, anything yeah, beyond no, not at all. anything. Not so. at all. Just some yeah. of my favorite neighborhoods are in North Raleigh. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. yeah. So just really like that. Um, speaking of other developments in North Raleigh, if you've never been to Lafayette Village, so cute, a little shopping yeah. center. It looks like, it's like, it has a little Eiffel Tower. I guess it's supposed to look like a street in Europe somewhere. Yeah. I don't know, but there's some really good That's coffee shops. Tower is probably France. Yeah, I guess it's about, <laughs> but it doesn't really feel like France. The rest of it just feels like Europe in general. You've never I don't been know. to France. Yeah, yeah. well, that's true. I don't, have, <laughs> I don't have a lot of context for what it should definitely feel like outside of movies, but you know, there's great restaurants there. You've been there. to the Disney World France. Yeah. <laughs> I've been to Epcot, okay, guys? So I, I know the entire world now. Um, but you know, there's a great restaurant there, Simply Crepes, one yeah. of my favorites. Um, one of Zach's favorite coffee shops, Jubala, is in uh, Lafayette Village. So definitely a good place to go and check yeah. out when you're here. Yeah. After you go to Howling Cow Ice Cream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After Howling Cow on the South Side. Yeah. But if you found value in this video, make sure to like, hit subscribe. We do videos like this on a weekly basis. But I'm Zach. This is my beautiful wife, Cindy. We're a couple of real estate agents in the area. So if you are looking to buy or sell, we would love to be your real estate resource of choice. You can find us at the contact info below or on Instagram. Yeah, we'd love to have you follow along with us on Instagram. You can find us at The Honeycut Realtors or you can head to our website, honeycutteam.com and reach out to us yep. there. But we'd love to connect with you and talk to you soon. See you next time.